Educated in China, Mulata Teshome Brutu served as Ethiopia's president between 2013 and 2018. He says the Communist Party of China has played a major role in China's economic development domestically and on the international stage. China actually is led by the strong visionary leadership. It is not something which came without uh, hard work. It was really very, very big hard work, hardest hard work. And that hard work and uh, especially the understanding of the Chinese people with their government, with their party, with the, the Communist Party of China, that, that, that is the main reason why China has, uh, uh, has registered such amazing development. Using its economic success as a blueprint, the former Ethiopian president says China developed the Belt and Road Initiative to share its prosperity with the rest of the world. China is strong, economically prosperous, industrialized, uh, becoming second largest uh, economy and maybe going to be the first uh, biggest, largest economy in the world in the very near future. China is determined to share its experience, this prosperity to the rest of the world. And the Belt and Road initiatives, and especially the initiative to cooperate with Africa, uh, with other developing countries, is a manifestation of uh, sharing this, uh, this uh, uh, prosperity. He developed a deep connection with China during his university days and as president promoted strong economic and trade ties between China and Ethiopia in various fields. Starting from the second road program, uh, most of uh, our program was executed by Chinese construction companies. And that is an achievement, I could say. And it was a very uh, successful uh, manifestation of how China uh, and other developing countries can work together in the benefit of both sides. The first industrial park, which is the Eastern Industry Park, is 100% constructed uh, by the Chinese uh, construction, I mean the invest, investment and developer. Um, that has uh, attracted many Chinese companies to come to Ethiopia. So that I could say that uh, uh, directly or indirectly, uh, we have contributed in uh, bridging the investment uh, flow between China and Ethiopia. The former Ethiopian president says the strong ties between the two countries have led to the development of Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa as a modern metropolis and helped boost the country's economic prosperity. The defining uh, cooperation aspect was the Djibouti Addis Ababa Railroad, Railroad and also the Addis Ababa Light uh, Railway. You know, it was really um, a big news, not only in China or in Ethiopia, globally, that Ethiopia was emerging from, uh, uh, from where it was to having, um, uh, you know, the, the light railway was uh, uh, with some media outlets expected as uh, as a metro. He says there's a lot Ethiopia can learn from China, especially on poverty eradication. What Ethiopia can learn from China is determination. Determined to develop your country. If you are determined to industrialize your country, it is possible. I don't think that there is any developing country which, which can uh, be compared with China. China definitely is. A success story, and Ethiopia can emulate that. 
The Chinese Communist Party's principles and philosophy on governance, Mulatu says, are at the center of China's economic prosperity and success. Yeah, one is people-centered. The Chinese Communist Party was, uh, from the very beginning, was taking the Chinese people at the top of the agenda. It is people-centered, uh, working for the interests of the people and the interests of the people and the interests of the China, the country, is not in contradiction with each other. Robert McGinnis, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.